Trisha Paytas, yeah. legend, icon, dancer, singer, actress, personality, fast talker, TV mogul, YouTube queen, meme legend. A lot. Wow. So many titles. So little time. Author. Oh yeah. Book, um, box creator. Oh my God. Where to even <laughs> begin? Where to even begin with you, Trish? Just first of all, that. first of all, I mean, how are you doing? Let's start there. How I, are you? Surprisingly, <laughs> very well. I feel like the whole internet thinks I'm about off the ledge but i'm like i'm right up the ledge i'm like this way <laughs> you always bounce back from yeah. just about anything it's been over what over 10 years of youtube we've seen you go through so many ups so many downs but we always see you come back yeah that's me i'm like a cockroach <laughs> can't kill me <laughs> thank god because truly you just you deliver what no other girls can oh, to thanks. say the least oh that means a lot i feel like i'm like the old person of youtube but like i'm here still here still kicking still yeah. getting views yeah, thanks. that's all that matters yeah you know i try <laughs> So, obviously, you've been dealing with a lot of drama recently. No stranger to a scandal. No stranger. <laughs> um, so, let's just... Quick little recap. You went through a lot all at once. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, you went through the H3H3 video. <laughs> you went through the Nikocada Avocado feud. <laughs> you got over the Jason breakup. PewDiePie came for me. Oh, my God. The PewDiePie video. It, just, it hasn't ended this no. past month. <laughs> Uh, cute, yeah. How have you been able to cope and deal with everything that's been thrown your way recently? You know what? Honestly, I have just been able, like, just YouTube, like, doing videos, which everyone's like, you need to take a break, but, like, I used to, like, do a bunch of pills and drugs, but, like, I don't do that anymore, so now I just do, like, YouTube, and, like, that's the only thing that gets me through, and Jesus, of course. Of course. Yeah, we love him. <laughs> and, because, yeah, you mean, you, you did say you were going to take a break for a minute, and then I think the next day you were back. Um, Always. <laughs> if I say I'm taking a break, like, I'm not, and if I ever do take a break, then you need to worry. Then you're like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's what I, the second you said that, I'm like, okay, Trish, well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, five hours later, yeah. I'm like, by the way, I missed you guys, because that's all I have. Like, literally, that's all I have. I sit in my house most days when I'm, like, not doing something. Thing and like which is usually every day and I just like sit there and I'm like what can I do who can I talk mm -hmm. to and then I'll put like a sad Instagram story and if no one responds I'm like all right let's do a YouTube video <laughs> out of everything that you've had to deal with recently what what's been like the most difficult thing to overcome breakup yeah obviously that one is that this is a hard one because mm -hmm. this is like someone who like actually like claimed me as a girlfriend I feel like all my other boyfriends like did it and so like this one was hard because like I feel like genuinely like day in day out with this like we were together 24 hours a day for like 365 days like never apart so it's hard that's like a drug looking back would you have done anything differently as far as the way that you <laughs> shared your relationship or do you think you know this is your your job and you had to do what you had to do basically yeah I loved it I actually loved the whole yeah. thing like I that was probably the best year of my life with David and Jason. It kind of was like we were in a trio. Obviously, I probably, like, shouldn't have made a video about people that weren't involved in the situation. But, you know, it happens. I have a big mouth and, like, I was emotional. Sometimes a girl just has to snap and that's... I snapped. That's that on, that's that, on that. You snap. I snap. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll try the next relationship. Have you heard from uh, Jason or anyone from the vlog squad since? Has anyone reached out at all? Or <laughs> Yes. Yes. Um... People have reached out. A couple, like, like I probably shouldn't say their names, but, like, people I would never expect from the group have, like, reached out. Even as, as um, recent as, like, a week ago, one of the girls reached out to me, and I was shocked. And she was so sweet and so compassionate. I was like, oh, my God. And one of the guys did, too. Um, but, yeah, I haven't heard from Jason since my birthday. We were cool. And then David I haven't heard from. He literally was just like, bye. <sighs> and are you keeping up? snake. <laughs> Kidding. We love him. Um, have you been like you're keeping up with their videos or anything? You're kind oh, of yeah. just like moving on. Or no, I, I love stalking all ex-boyfriends. I just stalked the one from 18. Still, <laughs> he's getting married. His girlfriend's in the new Quentin Tarantino movie. I was like, okay, oh. good for him. I will say I did click on a Jason video when I thought he was going to talk about you, and then I sat for like 35 minutes, and he did not talk. Oh, oh, I was caught. I, trust me, I'm on that. I, I type in all the time like Jason and Trisha, and I like he talked about me at a stand-up show, and I was so excited. <laughs> Like, we're so done. We're so over. There's no going back from what I did. But, like, at the same time, it's so fun to keep up and be like, they mentioned me. I'm so narcissistic. I would be very much the same as you, though. So, I honestly, I can't fault you. I can't fault you. No, he loves it, too. He's kind of a narcissist, so I'm sure he loves the attention. <laughs> Are you done, though, with people, like, tweeting you all the time? Like, when like when the Tinder profile happened oh, and people yeah. were tweeting that to you, is that stuff kind of just, like, okay, over, like, in that regard to moving on, or? No, oh my god, someone tagged me the other day, like, he liked this girl's ass photo, I was like, okay, like, and it does, like, bother you for a minute, yeah. 
But here I am, too. I'm all, like, trying to, like, hook up with every person I see. So I was just like, I can't really fold him. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's annoying. But I think it's, like, the same hater that tries to, like, get me to, like, snap. But I've already snapped. There's no going further off a ledge. I've already mm-hmm. jumped and burned all the bridges, set flames to all of them. There's no, like, I can't do any more. <laughs> so do you think that maybe months, years from now, you guys could have a friendship again? Or do you think it's pretty much just done at this point? Me and Jason? Ooh, yeah. I don't know. I was pretty crazy. I was pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably would say, like, when something's done, I, like, have to explode. I have to, like, make it, like, just literally non-repairable. But who knows? Jason's also cr- Jason's crazier than me, obviously. <laughs> you guys just don't see it. He's a nut job. So maybe... <laughs> You guys just have, like, you two together was just always such a sight. So, you know, I'll sit, be sitting here Aww. wishing just at least for a friendship because yeah, y'all are fun. Y'all are fun sure. together. Yeah, we're functioning not jobs. We're not harmful or dangerous yeah, not jobs. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Everyone's like, I'm scared you're going to murder Jason. I'm like, oh, my God, I got way too much money to live for. <laughs> God, I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> With the feud with Nikocado Avocado, there was a second there where you were losing a lot of subscribers. Was there a moment, though, when you were um, shocked or even maybe a little bit scared about just seeing people unsubscribe or hate on I you still, all of a sudden? I'm still losing. I think what I lose, like, 3,000 a day. Wow. Yeah. No, you know, I don't I don't get worried about it. Um, like, I just, like, if people leave, they leave. I just, not to, like, quote Logan Paul, but he said something really kind of, like, it hit me, like, so crazy on his um, podcast where he said, like, he's not here to, like, convert people to like him. Even my therapist says that, too. They're like, you can't convince people that you're not a liar. Like, if they want to believe you're a liar, they're going to believe it. You can't convince people. So, like, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, well, I can't convince people to like me. I want them to like me, but I can't. And also, like, you know, views are up monthly. I got 35 million views a month, so... <laughs> Subscribers, what? <laughs> people are clicking. Yeah, what. exactly. <laughs> What's the one biggest takeaway that you would want people to know um, about everything that you went through recently? Um, that it's like that. You know, one thing that I I, I wish I just hope people like know because all I have is like my truth, right? Like all my YouTube channel is my life and who I am. Like so, if people don't think I'm authentic, that like that hurts the most. Like everything I went through, it's like I can be here now, be like, got the views, the views are up, we're great, but like. It was traumatic. Like, everything was traumatic. It started on my birthday, which is May 8th. Um, you know, Jason cutting me off for good. Like, that was... So, it was, like, going through the breakup all over again. Because I'm like, oh, this is, like, real, real. Then, May 8th was the H3 video. He posted the video on my birthday. And I didn't see it till May 9th. The Nick Cotto video was May 10th. PewDiePie was... You know, so, like, all of that just spiraled, spiraled, spiraled. Meanwhile, also dealing with, like, crazy... A crazy, like, pill addiction I have. And also, I tried really hardcore drugs. And that was, like, three months of our break. So, like coming back from a mental hospital you know what I mean like it was so I guess the main takeaway is like all that stuff is like real like I'm a real person like everything was like hitting me hard there was never like a video where I was talking about my emotions that was like a troll a lot of people thought the h3 video was like a troll it wasn't like I was really upset that morning because you know that was the night we got a big fight and then I saw so I really was upset do I am I over like react reactive yeah but like that was all real and it's like it all hurts like the Nikocado stuff hurts. Like, uh, anyone thinking that I would try and hurt someone on purpose, that all hurts. It, it's, it sucks. Like, I don't want to be a bad person. But I'm not a great person. I'm, like, I'm, I'm a good person. I just make bad decisions sometimes. 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 Yeah. You know? I mean, sometimes I, I, I don't respond to people. Listen. <laughs> and that's bad. Yeah. yeah. You know? But that was also two years ago. I'm trying to grow. Yeah. A lot of people now are, like, very aware of their brands and how... Or, scared of that but you are just always yourself no oh, matter what thank you yeah. I pre- yeah no I know people are like anytime they think I make up anything or like m- like you know lie about my meltdowns like that's the cr- stupidest career suicide ever because like as someone who also works with like companies like companies get scared of that stuff companies are like oh this is like a liability we don't want to be associated with except for Adam and Eve shout out but like <laughs> other than them like other companies have like been yeah. like scared like they're legit are, are, like, scared sometimes. So it's, like, that would literally be so stupid, and I'm all about business and money, but, like, at the end of the day, my emotions always take precedent, so I'm gonna, I'd rather be real and lose a couple sponsorships than, you know, lie Mm -hmm. about how I'm feeling. (laughs) Well, despite everything, you are still booked, busy, and working very hard. (laughs) Um, So you have a few projects that I'm very excited to talk Mm -hmm. about. First of all, let's talk about this upcoming summer tour, because I'm very excited to see Trish live. Oh, my God, it's so so exciting. Yeah, this is actually called the Heartbreak Tour. (gasps) TheHeartbreakTour.com. Yeah, you can get tickets. It's the Heartbreak Tour. And, um, yeah, I decided I was going back and forth on what even the touring company has been watching my videos, and they're just like, the people producing it, and they're like, 
is she gonna make it? And I was like, no, 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 this is what's gonna save me. So like performing, like my therapist asked me, when are you the happiest? And I say, I'm when I'm in a relationship. Okay, he's like, well, suck it. And I said, when I'm performing. And I love performing, I love doing music videos and music. Like it literally is like me pretending I'm Britney Spears on stage. So I'm so excited for this tour. Like it's it's 14 cities and I'm it's like double the size of last year, the venues. I'm so excited. So what can we expect to see when you're hitting the stage? Lots of dancing, because, like, everyone's always, like, you dance in your videos. Like, we never, you know, I didn't dance last year. So we're bringing dancers. Like, we're putting on a full show. Like, I just wanted to be, like, the Britney Spears experience, but just, like, lesser. Is it too much to ask to have a little class, baby? Chicken Parmesan and heartbreak. Are you going to be debuting any new music? Uh, during the tour too and we're working like my <laughs> producer who did Freaky we're working on a new album together so I got him back I was like okay, that's my jam so yeah we have a new album coming out in July and we're recording it now so wow. yeah and not only do you have the tour you are also the founder of Glitter Bitch Box yes <laughs> Glitter Bitch let's see what's inside the Glitter Bitch Box because this is truly something yeah so we have just a bunch of like branded products and we have like glitter popcorn purses so it's just like everything girly and glittery and sparkly i mean how <laughs> did you even come up with this idea by the way because it's kind of it's kind of genius yeah i just you know what we were thinking about like subscription boxes and we're like okay we could do like adult toys i was like no i want like glitter because you know like i wanted something for like people who love tacky stuff we all know that you're very bougie and you just live that lifestyle you're, you're that girl how much have you dropped in one video Ooh, well music video Probably was thick. That was 150000 We shop at Universal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, we had to, like, rent out the Universal back lot, and then we had to, like, hire their people and hire, like, a fire truck, and, like, we had, like, water trucks. So that was really expensive. That was a two-day shoot, and that was 150000 So that was crazy. But this next one we're doing is uh, Quentin Tarantino Inspire. We're recreating, like, all his movies, and we're shooting at a back lot, and that's about 150000 So, yeah. Oh, we got Fabio. That was about 100000 oh, <laughs> Not my. just him, but the whole video. When you go shopping in a video, yeah. what's the craziest amount that you've spent? I recently did one to be up with the trends. It was like buying whatever I touch. I didn't really get the idea of the video because I don't watch them. I just <laughs> see the titles. And I did it and I spent, oh God, I spent 35000 Trisha Lynn. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Oh my God, that was so bad. Like I Wild. literally, yeah, I like needed to make a tax payment and I was just like whoa next month why not? and then I saw didn't your credit card get declined at a drive through in one video <laughs> Trisha come on girl actually I do that's so that's so legit though and I did edit it out because I was like honestly that's my life it's like sometimes it gets declined relatable we don't know. very relatable <laughs> then you check your account you're like oh man like I have another card don't oh worry oh my god well if you ever want to do buying whatever my poor fan touches <laughs> please let me know you yes. yo you're bougie look at your shirt you're so okay bougie. <laughs> this is bougie on a budget I guess but <laughs> regardless let's no let's do it I love it I recently took um one of my friends, she was a subscriber, and now she's, like, my friend. I met her on tour last year. Her name's Amelia. I took her to Gucci, and we spent, like, $10,000 on her. I gave her a little makeover. Well, <laughs> let's go, sis. Let's go. Let's go to the mall, please. Let's bring the cameras and go please. shopping. I'm going to pitch that to you. I love, I love that. Have you been keeping in touch with Shane and Jeffrey and all your other friends, too? Because you vlog pretty much by yourself, so it's yeah. hard to see, like, who you're still friends with these yeah days. right no it's so true I know every time I hang out at Shane's house like it's it's one of those things because he's so like not that person when I first met him he was a daily vlogger too so mm -hmm. we were always vlogging but there is something nice about not vlogging all the time but no I do see him I saw him um, for my birthday and he got me a Cartier bracelet which I'm not even wearing he got me a Cartier bracelet which was like so freaking nice um he's the, he's great he's like that one person I can call literally right now and if I'm having like I really need to see someone he's like come over and he's always like spend the night like all that stuff and that whole group is amazing so I still I talk to Shane all the time he's always been the nicest and like you know when you think the whole world is like turning against you I'm like oh yeah um and Jeffrey contacted me after my breakup videos and he like he's one of those also people who sends me like so many voice memos and just is like mm. so sweet and so nice like I don't know I like I don't know where like all the back history of him comes from but like this well, Jeffrey I know is like so nice like both of them don't need me for literally anything and my hundred thousand views compared to their millions like it does they don't need so they they will check up on me and just be like hey hope you're well which is like so nice so those are like the two that I will always have like their back because they've always had mine like even Shane when I'm like messing up he's just always like I got you like and he's the one that always brings me back to reality where he's like he when the drama happens he's like I literally have no idea what you're talking about and Shane keeps up with YouTube so when I tell him like everyone hates me because of this he's like who what like so he'll let me know if something's serious or not and he's just like no it's like not that big of a deal 
now seeing where everyone has kind of gone, um, like Shane and Jeffrey just have become like this top god level tier of YouTube. Yeah. Has that been weird to like process for you, like as their friend? Yeah, other level. I tell him that all the time when I see him. I'm like, oh yeah, I forget that he's like just Shane. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy. Like he created something so epic. And and Jeffrey too, you know. But like when Shane, yeah, when I met him, he was like, he was already big, but I, you know, I wasn't as much. And so it's just kind of like it's crazy. He's kind of done this whole other level, and I, it's awesome. It's inspiring. I was like, dang, you know, I, I think it's amazing. Yeah. Um, are have you heard anything about the series he's working on with Jeffrey? Yeah. Oh my god! It's, I'm so excited. I literally can't even say anything because, but I, he he sh he showed me something last time I saw him, and I started crying. Wow. I was like, oh my god! So like, I can't. But like, I I'm so excited to see what he does because I don't know like all of it, but I'm so excited because I happened to go over there. I called him one night when I was like so depressed and like in the middle of my drama, and he was like in the middle of something so big for his thing, and so I got over there and they were like all filming. So I was like behind the scenes of it. I was like, it's so exciting. YouTube in general has been pretty wild the past few months. When you're watching the world kind of take sides in James Charles versus Jeffree Star and Tati, like what was going through your mind as someone who's been through a lot of feuds and scandals yeah. watching that happen? Yeah, you know what? I think with everything, like no matter how big your scandal is, it just all goes away. So during it, especially as an outsider and not involved in that at all, it's like, oh, this is literally so silly. I know with them, I'm sure they were like, my world's ending. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I feel through all my scandals. But, like, I feel like people forgive scandal even once that shouldn't be forgiven. Honestly, I think you can bounce back from everything. So I feel like something about vitamins and all that stuff, I feel like, you know, it is silly in the grand scheme. So is mine. Like, me ghosting. Like, it's everything silly in the grand scheme of things. All the girls go through something at some point, yeah. basically. Yeah, for sure. I feel like that gives you some sort of, like, like, yeah, it gives you a sort of status, right? Like, if you go through some scandal, like, you have to, like... It's I like a know. rite of passage, Yeah, honestly. I feel like it, people are talking about you, I guess it's a good thing. I mean, I don't always feel that way. I'm like, God, I wish people wouldn't talk about me, but <laughs> if they are, then I guess that's good. It's better than not caring. Yeah, yeah. and I feel like now, every time you're going to go through um, something that's just really hard and traumatic, you, like I said, you always bounce back. You're very focused on, like, um, your fitness and health. Yeah. Um, so are you still going to be, like, the mukbang queen? Like, where where is Trish going, I content wise I was, I, You know, I, whoever knows. I don't even know. Because um, part of me is like, oh, no more mukbangs, no more mukbangs. But, you know, then sometimes when I'm like, okay, I'm cute, I want to, like, film something. So now I have a rule where I'm like, I have to be cute if I'm going to film a mukbang. So if I get my full glam, then I can do it. But if most of the time I'm not, then I'm, I can't. So then I'm celery juice Trish, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm half and half. I need to, like, start obviously, like, getting it together health-wise. So... So once a week I try and splurge. I have a with my therapist an eighty twenty rule where you're supposed to be like eighty percent healthy and twenty percent. So my twenty percent's on camera, <laughs> and um, yeah. And then uh, as far as I, I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea where it's gonna go. I, I mean, hopefully another relationship. I'm looking for marriage and kids. So. Oh yeah, how is that going? Because I saw that you are officially putting your stuff back on there yeah. on the market. How is that going so far? It's rough because I've been on match and they're like, wait, don't you have a boyfriend? And so, but I'm, I'm looking, to, I go around, I get out more now. I went to go see Dennis Quaid Saturday night. I was like front row. He didn't notice me, but you know, we're trying and Keanu Reeves, I put a video out for him. I heard he's lonely. So I need, you know, I aim, I aim high. <laughs> Who's your dream man? I like an older guy okay. and, uh, just someone loyal. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm very, I'm very like, yeah. I do like famous people. I need to stop. I, that's why I've been on Match. I was trying to find like regular people to date, but they're also like not that exciting. But celebrities cheat on you, so I don't freaking. I'm gonna be single forever. That's why Jason was perfect. He was like a celebrity ish, and then also like regular guy. Yeah. But I think this would be maybe that should be the direction your content go is it goes in is finding yourself a man. Like I would watch that religiously, oh, just that so would you be know. Everything. Like the bachelor, because I'm even too old for the bachelor at this point. They cut off at twenty eight. And I'm like, I need my own version. I don't know, like they need to bring back like Rock of Love, but for like old people. <laughs> Like, I, I want to be on that. Trish of love. Yeah, like, I think you need, Yeah, we need to do something with that, girl. I would die. That would be the ultimate. I feel like you would totally find love. I'm such a believer in reality show yeah. love. Uh, it's working for some. There was one where, like, it was called, like, the proposal, and, like, they got proposed yeah. to the same day. That's what I need. <laughs> I need to know, 
How authentic and real are <laughs> these performance videos, or is it kind of just is it tro is it trolling us, or is this like is this the no. full blown fantasy? It's authentic because like yeah, I can carry a tune, but like I can't belt. But like that's my dream is to belt. Like so I like when I sing shallow, I was like that's how I sing it in the car. And I feel like I thought it was, like, not that terrible, but apparently everyone thought it was awful. And so I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So I just thought, I love singing. And so, like, if people like it, yeah, but I'll perform. I'll, Lady Gaga especially, like, that's my that's my jam. I'll yeah. perform at your wedding. Someone else asked me, the fat Jewish asked me to, to officiate his wedding. I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Shane, too. I'm like, I'm performing at their wedding, so I'm performing. Please? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. That That's going to be bigger than the royal wedding with you performing. A hundred percent. Oh, my God.